Hi, Dr. Andrea Maxim here, naturopathic doctor in Caledonia and Oakville, and today I wanted to talk to you about the difference between food allergies and food sensitivities. The biggest difference is that a food allergy is when our body tells us for sure that we're allergic to it. So these are very excitatory and very anaphylactic. The most common foods that people are allergic to in such a way would be peanuts or egg, where usually an EpiPen is necessary in order to decrease the reaction because it is so emergent. What a food sensitivity is, is something that naturopathic doctors shine with, and that's a low-lying, under-the-radar food reaction that's happening to something that our body shouldn't be reacting to. So for instance, let's say you have a lot of gas and bloating whenever you eat foods with gluten or dairy, for instance. A lot of the times, Number one, we're not smelling our food and we're not interacting with our foods like we used to. We're not receiving those signals where our saliva starts going. The saliva will then start getting our stomach acid churning and that will help to break down the food so that we don't have such an overwhelmingly large molecule to break down further on in the intestines which can cause a lot of gas and bloating and digestive upset. So what these food reactions are actually doing is because we're missing a lot of key elements that are required in order to facilitate healthy digestion, it's causing our bodies to react to some elements in our foods like gluten and dairy that we shouldn't be. So what I like to do with my patients first and foremost is to make sure that their stomach acid is adequate and we can do that using some indirect or direct tests. Um, but the other common thing that we can do is see if those reactions are actually causing inflammation in the system and we do that using a food sensitivity test. You can get um, that through a blood draw or what I do in my practice, just a few drops of blood from your finger. We send that away and in three to four weeks we get to see out of 96 different potential food sensitivities, which ones your body is reacting to the most. Now when we look at these reactions, we're looking at it on a scale from 0 to 6. If the reactivity is about a 0 or a 1, generally that's okay and I won't cause the patient or make the patient remove those from their diet. But if we're looking at a 3 or 4, then what's happening is, is the body is able to maintain a good immune response to these foods but it's best if we start putting them on a rotation diet. A rotation diet means that you get to consume those foods every four days and what that does is it just helps to decrease any overwhelm felt by the immune system. If the reactions are happening in the five and six levels, you definitely have to remove those foods for at least three to six months. And the reason why is because they're causing such inflammation in the digestive tract that until we remove them completely from the diet and really start facilitating the healing process, we're never going to get anywhere with it and you're just not going to get to optimal health as fast as you'd like to. So these tests can be found at any naturopathic office. Of course, I'd love to have you come into mine. I practice in Caledonia and Oakville, and I would certainly love to see you and talk a little bit more about how these food sensitivity tests can benefit you and your digestive health. Have a happy and healthy day.